The monotony of routine life was proving too much for him to endure. He wanted to escape and it was in the books that he found his respite. As he transcended to a world of the wild, he felt a strange numbness leave him. Love, genuine passionate love was his for the first time. He came upon a deer quenching its thirst by the stream and realized his own throat was parched. He mirrored the deer's actions and felt a satisfaction like never before. Right then, a mighty roar sounded through the forest and the beast walked in with all his majesty. He was a killer, a thing that preyed, living on the things that lived. When he looked up, a large drop of sun lingered on the horizon and then dripped over and was gone. His stomach rumbled, craving for the packaged treats that he was used to having. Looking at tall trees, he realized he'd have to work for his meals now. Getting to work, he climbed the tree to fetch food and his sense of accomplishment filled him when he looked at his prized catch. But happiness can be short-lived even within the forest, as a monkey escaped with his coconuts and all he could do was look. Eventually, the skies grew darker and a howl pierced through the vast silence of the wilderness. Petrified, he ran for shelter and thankfully spotted a cave. And he rubbed together two stones to build a fire. Lighting a torch from this fire, he entered the cave and was astounded by the ancient drawings that surrounded him. Then he decided to venture out into the night, seeing animal instinct in its raw form. When the lion pounced onto the zebra, he felt a thrill like never before. And yet again, the king of the jungle proved his majesty as he walked away with blood dripping down his jaw. Tired of all the events, he sat under a tree admiring the dim twilight of the summer midnights, listening to the subdued and sleepy murmurs of the forest. Looking up at the sky, he reflected on his day and all he witnessed, feeling a sense of comfort and peace like he'd never experienced before. He felt the wild in all its thrill and mysticism calling out to him and he knew in his heart of hearts that he had come home.